Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mel Herbert here for Talking Tesla. I wanted to throw together a quick little video here because Tesla just come out with a guarantee on the battery for the Model 3 and there's been a bit of a collective freak out by some people about the number. So uh, let's look at this historically and then let's see what this all means. So they've said that they're going to guarantee the Model 3 battery to have 70% of range at the end of eight years or 100,000 miles. And a lot of people have freaked out saying 70%? That's terrible. So let's look into that number and let's see if that's real or if that's just sort of a cover your buttocks kind of a number. And I'm going to suggest to you it's a cover your buttocks kind of number. So this doesn't happen in a vacuum, for example, because there were a lot of reports that the first generation Nissan Leaf had significant degradation of their batteries. That doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. I actually had a first generation Leaf and I can tell you that that was true that for a lot of those LEAF owners, that first generation LEAF, the technologies that they were using meant that that battery lost range almost like overnight sometimes. You could see it getting less and less every time you charged it up. But that was the first generation, they fixed it. Now the LEAF, actually Nissan, guarantees their batteries pretty much the same as Tesla, 70% at about 100,000 miles. The Chevy Bolt says 60% uh, percent at 100,000 miles. So this 70% is industry sort of standard right now for the big guys. And it's actually much better news than that. So how do we know that it's much better news than that? Or what I mean to say is that your degradation will be almost certainly way less than 70% at 100,000 miles. There's sort of three major areas we get data from, and unfortunately, Tesla is not one of them. They have the data on all of their cars, no doubt, but they don't tell us directly, so we have to sort of work it out um, in a different way. And there's three ways we do this. The first way, is that we look at really high mileage cars from places that are doing ride sharing, like Tesloop, for example. Boom. Tesloop has a car that has over 200,000 miles and has lost only 6% of range after 200,000 miles, which for many people would be like 20 years of driving. Okay, so that's one piece of information. Then there's these two big data sets that we have. One is from Plug in America, and the other one is from Martin Steinbach. And all of this is users like you and me, Tesla owners, that voluntarily send in information, and it's on a big Google, Google spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet, it's on a Google spreadsheet, and uh, people put their data in, what the car is, when they bought it, what their range was initially, what it is now after 10,000 miles, 20,000 miles, 50,000 miles, 100,000 miles. Some of these cars have a lot of range now. And if you look at that spreadsheet, and you put all the data together, just as Ben from Teslanomics has done on his YouTube channel and done a really beautiful job of it, you can see that there's a very tight scatter of that information that says that by 100,000 miles, the vast majority of people are going to have more than 90% range, maybe as much as 95% range at 100,000 miles. So that's good news. But it's even better news, I think, than that data suggests that Ben has put together so nicely. The fact I think it's even better than that is because a lot of these cars are older using older technology, not using the new cell, the 2170, not using the newest uh, technologies in terms of heating and cooling batteries, which can result in degradation. So I think actually the degradation is going to be even less, even less than that. And that's why some people have suggested that perhaps Tesla might have a million mile battery pack on these new cars, that really there won't be significant degradation for a very long time far longer than the degradation on the seats and on the upholstery and everywhere else in your car so that you'll replace your car well before you replace it because of a battery problem. Now, it gets even better than that, if it's possible, because we had the Tesla Semi event. And many things we learned in that Tesla Semi event, but one of the things we learned is that the battery prices are gonna come way down in the next two years. That's the only way Tesla can make any money out of these um, big trucks, these massive trucks with their massive battery packs and they're getting charged at incredible speeds. But the estimates is that the price on those batteries is going to be about half of what it is today. So even if your battery degraded a little bit and you weren't happy about it, you could theoretically replace your battery after the end of the warranty and uh, do it at a pretty cheap price. And also we think that the uh, sort of the concentration of cells and the density of the energy is also going to come down significantly. So potentially you could buy a new battery that has significantly more range at not much cost in the near future. And why? Some people have suggested it's because maybe Tesla has some brand new technology, maybe solid state, maybe they've got something amazing that they're about to tell us about. Or maybe it is simply the fact that they now are getting the Gigafactory up to size, they've got their technologies in this chemistry sort of perfected, they've got the electronics, the cooling, the heating, 
all perfected to the point where they're going to be able to produce batteries with enormous range, with very little degradation, at a price which is significantly less than we see today. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're thinking of a Model 3, if you're a little bit freaked out about this 70% potential degradation of after 100,000 miles, I would not worry about it. I would not put that into your algorithm about deciding if you're going to get a Model 3. It is almost certainly going to be better than 90%. I think there's good evidence to suggest that it's going to be better than 95%. And it could possibly be that it will be even just a few percent after, say, 5, 10 years of driving that car. All right? So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The show is Talking Tesla. It's on iTunes. It's a great podcast. We also have this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. But go check out the main show, which gets released usually on Tuesday or Wednesday on iTunes, Talking Tesla. Talk to you soon. Herbert out.